Uh, the lecture was an hour ago. Two hours ago. Um, today we continue the discussion of the Huff line transform. Um, so there were a couple things I haven't clarified from the previous video. And one of which is how uh, the in detail explanation of how the Huff line transform works. So there are two ways of looking at a line. So this is our image space. Um, if we take this point, we take this point, and then we look at its row and parameters, uh, row and theta space. So it's essentially, we're looking at the polar coordinates of this line. Then we can see that in this zero to two pi, and this is the row. Then we can see that there is a sinus pseudo wave of this line. So what I'm trying to say is that if we take the polar coordinates of this point, because there are in, this, in computer vision, it's a discrete space. So we have at most 360 lines. For each degree, we have one line. So you will have 360 lines to represent this one point. And by representing this line in a polar coordinate space, we can represent the change of this line, the change from this line to this line. It can be represented by x cosine theta plus y cos uh, y sine theta. So that's why we get uh, a sinus pseudo wave for the change for this line, uh, change for this point. And then if we look at this point, again, it's going to have 360 lines, possible line slopes on this point. So if we plot that into a polar coordinates curve and look at change of these curves, again, it's going to have some sinus pseudo wave. And this intersection tells us that there is a line here. And that's how we know that there is this line. And that is line detection for Huff transform. 